wash our stress out like it was shout do. You should stay. It can't change. There's good days. Have bad days. But one day down the line, it's time to show the stop. So the only time is now for the club. Look, Jay-Z is the best rapper alive. Kanye ain't even the best rapper on a Kanye album. Nah, no, but Jay-Z's so old school. Kanye's trying to be different, and you know it works. It does not work. Yeah, it does. He's trying too hard, man. Can you get out of the car so I can lock up? What's up with you? Mr. Bell asked me to do Friday's assembly. Kids never pay attention anyway. Just do a song and a song, job done. Things have got a bit more competitive since the merger. Did you see Mrs. Greenwood's Bollywood dance display last week? They were school kids. I thought they were pros. Exactly. Boys, can you hurry up? Why don't you ask the school orchestra to do something? Disbanded. This is my first assembly of the merger. I really want to make a good impression on... Oh, Mr. Bell. Good morning. <laughs> Get inside, Carter. Yes, sir. And take your small cousin with you. Small cousin? Come on, tiny man. I hope you haven't forgotten Friday's assembly, Harris. No, I've got tons of ideas. And so I should hope. As a former Elmsbury teacher, I'm relying on you to make a good impression. Don't make me regret it. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, to the seat. Hey, yeah. So, uh, what are you up to? Yeah, uh, standing by my locker, getting my books out. <laughs> Funny. So, um, thanks for the ad. What ad? Last night on Facebook. Oh, you're J hyphen? Yeah, yeah, it's just a stage name, you know, so people don't bother me whilst I'm chillaxing. Oh, I thought it was Neil from French. He's always making up stupid fake poop for else to wire me up. <laughs> Right. Not that your profile picture's stupid. Although, you do look different. Well, you know, when I'm outside of school, I just like to switch it up sometimes. Like, that's my chilling face I come. Right. Well, it's finished now, so see you later. Yeah, man, everything's totally fine. Sorted. We're meeting up after school tomorrow. Mate, we heard every word. I don't understand, man. It just fell to pieces. Just stay cool. You need to get to know her. Hey, what's your obsession with hooking me up with Rachel? Think about it. Her friends are well fit. So if you end up going out with her, one of them's practically going to have to end up going out with me just to make it fair. Because you're such a hit with the ladies. Dinner, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, Wobble Chops? Tripped on a guy where Pascal can. Huh? <laughs> no, I'm fine. It's just a slight hiccup in the toilet schedule. You've got a schedule. Obviously. 7 to 7.05, become fully awake. 7.05 to 7.15, breakfast and I'm at uniform. 7.15, get in the toilet before Dad. Good move. Dads are major bog holders. I know, but this morning I missed my slot. So you used the schoolies? Uh-huh. I went in there once. Never again. So what are you going to do? Do whatever good scout does when his courage is tested. Exercise self-control. All day? Can I sit next to you? A ukulele orchestra. Who do you know who plays the ukulele? A Jamaican steel band. We're all out of steel drums. Well, I'm all out of ideas. Good luck. You do know we're doing this assembly together? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'd love to, but I've got this music festival on Friday. What music festival? Did I not tell you? I'm going to be off sick. But don't worry, because I'll be with you in spirit. It's not actually with you. So, I've been telling Mrs O'Brien all about your big plans for Friday's assembly. I'd love to hear them. Yeah, um, we're still in the brainstorming stage. Oh, good. Well, perhaps we can help narrow your focus. OK. Uh, record a recital? Brass band? If you're not careful, you're going to come up with something really boring. Like a choir. Ooh, I like it. Cultural, collaborative. A bit more highbrow than Bollywood dancing, eh, Mrs O'Brien? There's only one problem. We don't have a choir. I'm sure Dexter can pull something together. Nothing's too hard for one of my teachers. And I'm sure Miss Parker would be happy to assist. Mm, actually, I've got a lot on. Marking, planning, cleaning, maracas. Plenty of time to do that over the weekend. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Choir? I'm 
sure the kids will be frothing at the mouth, mate. Take it from me. If you want them inspired, you need to start a proper club like this. Boxing? Isn't that dangerous? Not necessarily, although it is the way I do it. <laughs> See you later, choir boy. What are you doing, sir? Nothing to do with you, sweetheart. Run along. Uh, why does it say for boys only? Uh, because it's a boxing club. What? You saying the girls can't box? No, I'm not saying they can't. I'm saying they're rubbish at it. Why? Evolution. Look, basically, women have got small, flimsy arms for sewing and cooking, whilst men have got big, muscly arms for fighting saber-toothed tigers. Uh, in that bit sexist. It's not sexist. I'm just saying that a woman boxing is like a dog riding a skateboard. It's just wrong. Oh, boxing. Can I join? <laughs> of course you can, my son. Show us your left hook. There we go. <laughs> what? Who says that girls can't box? We're female. We're used to fighting a lot. Mrs. O.B., fancy a spa? <laughs> well, according to these girls, I couldn't even if I wanted to. Oh, look, it's not sexism. I'm just saying if the girls come along, it'll ruin it for the boys. Oh, you two! Left, right, left, right! Are you aware, Mr. Nunn, that this school has a strict anti-discrimination policy? You what? I want this boxing club open to girls, or I am closing it down. Listen, love... May I remind you, Mr. Nunn, that as head teacher of this school, I am your line manager. And girls, I can't wait to see you in action. Uh, uh, we don't actually want to box, miss. It's just the principle of it. Don't let him intimidate you. If you want to box, you go for it. Oh, and strictly warm-ups, no sparring. I don't want lawyers' letters like that mixed-age rugby match at the open day. That wasn't my fault. I mean, what sort of burp chokes in his own tooth? Mate, that's got to be the definition of lame. Thought it might be up your street. Uh, no, I'm more of a rapper than a singer. I think people that sing in choirs are like musical sheep. Whereas me, you know, um, I'm more of a dragon. I think it sounds pretty cool. I saw this gospel choir in London once. They were tight. Trust me, no lie, they were tight. You see? Some of you might not like choral music, but there are plenty of kids who do. I hope you got an umbrella. Because this is going to be a complete washout. <laughs> well, we'll just wait and see, won't we? Choir with three people. It's amazing what you can do with a bit of enthusiasm. I'm just here because it's either this or listen to Bob a job now or it's toilet schedule. Is this choir practice? Yes. I mean, come in. Let's hear what you've got. I'm just saying you need to get on with this Rachel business, I mean. It's not just your love life on the line here. Yeah. Look, man, I can't bowl up cold and make myself look like a chisel like I did last time. No, you best give it up now. It's only going to end in tears. My uncle Ian married his school sweetheart. What happened? Well, she broke his heart and now he's sleeping on a mattress in my nan's loft. Wow. Great pep talk, man. I'll let you know about the next choir practice. Mate, I've just had a brilliant idea. Save it. I've got to join the choir. I was gonna say beg for love like a spaniel begs for sausage, but I guess yours works just as well. That's the about choir. I'd really like to join. 
I thought you said choir was the definition of lame. Yeah, I only really said that because I was intimidated. Choral singing can be quite intimidating. Mm. Tell me about it. So, when does practice start? I'm really sorry, Josh, but looks like we're gonna have to cancel. Cancel? Dude, loads of people have been looking forward to this. Then I mean, how come only four people turned up to practice? Four? I'm gonna say it. That's rubbish. I told Belle, I pulled this out the bag. If I turn up with four kids, who's gonna think we're a bunch of carol singers? Oh, look, I'll twist your trolleys, man. I'll find you a new set of lungs. From where? A hidden seam of raw talent. The Four O'Clock Club? Yep. How'd you get them to change their minds about choirs? Oh, I didn't. I just told them that you'd let them off detention for the next week. Plus, we need somewhere to hide. Otherwise, Mr. Lund's gonna make us hate things. Yeah, so do you want to impress Ding Dong or not? Can I even sing? No, maybe. But, you know, they just need a bit of help from a very inspirational teacher. Unfortunately, we don't have one of those, so we'll just have to put up with you for now. <laughs> oh, hey, Rachel. Didn't expect to see you here. Didn't expect to see you here either. Especially after you said choirs are the definition of blame. <laughs> I didn't say that. And that people in them are musical sheep. Yeah, no. What was it again? I'm a rapper, not a singer. Look, singing's just rapping that goes up and down, right? Now that is some quality lady talk. Are we gonna get started or what? Did you really have to bring this herd of Muppets? Oi, watch it, you dribbler. You watch it, me, Ed. The stress has put an unbearable pressure on my system. Eh, gross. Hey, just because he's got toilet issues. Don't make him gross. Eh, gross. Oh, this is worse than being in oh, right. it's, it's not that bad. <laughs> Shut up! Mr. Harris, thought you'd be at choir practice. This is choir practice. Can I see you outside for a moment? You call this pulling the choir together? I don't think you're ready for this responsibility, Mr. Harris. You better make this work. Let me guess, Ding Dong don't want us involved? Bell never lets us do anything. He thinks we'll embarrass him. Yeah, like when he photoshops Ash out of the school prospectus. Well, to be fair, he was mooning out of an upstairs window. <laughs> oh, my finest hour wiped from history. The choir? Is on. Uh, no. No. Mr. Bell said he can't wait to see us in action. Right. Here's a song we'll be singing. If you could pass these back. Miss Parkwood. Costumes. Wait, what? Costumes? No, we can't. What if we get caught? The only thing stopping us is our minds. And a big sign saying staff toilets. Look, it's either this or use the student box. Okay, let's do it. Oh, wow. Well. It's like heaven. It's just a toy. Oh, it's so much more. Keep lookout. I may be some time. Try in a different key. Or a different school. Miss Parkwood. Miss Parkwood! Hey. No key. Maybe we'd do better if someone was actually singing. At least I could sing if I wanted to. Unlike some people, mentioning no names. Ash Newman. Excuse me? At least I don't sound like a bat being boiled alive. Hey, my grand has got a lovely singing voice. Your gran is thick. And why are we wearing these stupid romper suits? Everyone, please, we have two days to get this right. That's what, Josh. This choir was on fire before you came and ruined it. Or was it really? I think I'm gonna go. Uh, Rachel, don't go, man. We would, we were just getting warmed up. I've just remembered. I've got things to do. Sorry, Mr. Harris. Great. Now our best singer's gone. Yeah. There goes my last chance of happiness. Oh, you two. Can I help? 
You're meant to be at boxing class? Sorry, sir, but we don't actually want to box. I don't care. If you don't come, Mrs. O'Brien is going to think I'm discrimin... Discri dis discriminifying. Mr. Nunn, I'm really sorry, but they're in my choir. Not anymore, mate. Now, come on, get yourself out of those... whatever those are, and get kitted up. This choir ain't what I thought it was. I'm sliding. Yeah, me too. Oh, no. Mr. Bell might not notice a two-go, but he will if you all do. Back here! Punch it. Punch it again. We're even more punching. Oh, this is horrible. I know. Hurting muscles, I didn't even know I had. Oh. Right. Looks like we need to work on your motivation, ladies. Ten laps of the gym, now. Sir? Or can't your little girly spaghetti legs take it? <laughs> My little choir boy. I'm so proud. You and me were in a gospel choir once, weren't we? Well, you were in the choir. I was more of a star soloist. <laughs> yeah, she had a powerful voice, just a bit shrieky. When's the concert? Tomorrow assembly. It's gonna suck, cos Josh took over and wrecked it. Yeah, well, you ain't got to worry about that now, cos I dropped out. What? Josh! Dexter said it was cool. So now you know we're gonna embarrass ourselves, you've bailed. Look, it's not my fault you're gonna look like dweebs. It's a nap song in the lame outfits. Nero, you dinosaur waffles. I ain't hungry. It's typical, Josh. Something gets hard and you just walk away without a thought for anybody else. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, man, I left my crew in the lurch. Never ever wanna get pushed off my perch. Ain't just my mum who gets driven berserk. She's the only one who confirmed that I've been this way since birth, you see. One day old in the hospital nursery, I took all the dummies and bottles of milk that weren't for me. As a toddler at the table for dinner time, if I was done before you, the rest of yours, it was mine. When there's not much milk left, I won't finish it, just most of it. Then put the tiny bit back in the fridge. I'm even worse when it comes to your stuff. I'll borrow it, use it and lose it, sure enough. I'll be back next time to borrow something else. Maybe that's why my mum says, Josh, you're something else. I guess I thought she meant it as a compliment But now I see if people wanted to hate me What's stopping them? I wouldn't like a friend like me who jumped the gun To every advantage, just looking out for number one And now I got the best of my friends stuck in the fix All because of another of Josh Carter's tricks Well maybe this time I could be more of a man Ooh. than a mouse And try to help out, give him a hand Yeah, yeah, try to help out, give him a hand Ah, yeah, try to help out, give him a hand uh. Anyone. You swore on scouts, aren't it? Oh, come on. I don't tell anyone else. I swear. I got back up. <laughs> I think it's just easier if we drop out. Fight for equality in other ways, like with our minds or something. I know the pressures strong, powerful women face in a male-dominated environment. But when you get knocked down, you have to get back in that ring and show those boys what you can do. But... You'll be fine. Why don't I drop in on you later, show you some moral support? I believe in you. Out. I listened to what Josh had to say and I made a decision which I thought was best for the group. Lies. Josh told me he bailed because we're going to look like massive idiots. And we're all going to lump him. I know you're finding the song challenging, but I think if we run it through one last time as a team, it will all come together. Right, Miss Parkwood. <laughs> oh, you're being serious? Yes, definitely. Let's go. Oh, oh, we're 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 Oh, Emma, 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 o
stop shouting in my ear. You're the one that's doing the shouting. I got off my mate. Oh, you get off him. Calm it, Eli. I'm checking this in. I'm serious. What's up, divots? What are you doing here, King Dropout? I'm sorry, am I late? I was too busy doing some <clears throat> vocal warm-ups. I thought you quit. Well, I did, but it's evident that you guys need me. So, what's up? We can't sing and the song's rubbish. Well, luckily for you guys, I spent some time last night messing around with the track and I reworked it. That still doesn't solve the problem that we can't sing. Leave that to me, Agnes. You see, a choir is like a big speaker of people. Ain't that right, Dexter? Kind of. So, tweeters on this side, woofers over there. Ash, you got a good set of pipes, yeah? It's true. I'm a gifted man. Well, maybe you should stand at the back so you can really give it some welly, yeah? Isaac, you need to sing in a higher key. And Eli, <laughs> Eli, my main man. <laughs> Move your mouth up and down, open, closed, like you're singing. But for me, don't let a sound come out. Now, the rest of you, after three, give me an Awimboe. One, two, three. Awimboe. Oh, that sounded proper good, that did. Can't believe we're stuck here doing this. Your fault. Uh, how? You totally wussed out in front of O'Brien. I wussed out. You were all rubbish and pathetic. Do you want to come here and say that? Fight, 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 fight. Oh, girls! She started it. I never. I don't care who started it. Bring it on. Maybe I underestimated you two. Right, you in that corner, you over there. Now I want no fighting and a good, clean fight. <laughs> what was this? Uh, all right? I was just showing them what sparring looks like so they can avoid it, you know, for their own safety. That's it. I'm shutting this club down. What? I can't have pupils fighting in my school. <sighs> Girls, I am very disappointed in you. When I said get back in the ring, this is not what I had in mind. Now, come on. Shake hands. Hmm. So... Does that mean no more boxing clubs, sir? No. It's political correctness gone mad. Listen, girls, I run an after-hours boxing club at the YMCA. You're very welcome to come along for a few bouts, but I am warning you, it does get pretty tasty. Mr Nunn, what are you doing? Just saying that violence is never the answer. Better get a quick pop drop in before the... No. What? Then dogs an evil genius. My secret toilet. Out of bounds. Forever. If it makes any difference, I'll store you some of this. <laughs> Too ply. Thanks, mate. It's just my way of saying, you know, sorry. Well, five years to go at this school. I suppose I was always going to have to brave the school bugs one day. Wish me luck. I'm going in. Godspeed, pal. Following the excesses of last week's show, it is a privilege to introduce something more classically satisfying. Our new choir. Formed by former Elmsbury teacher, Mr. Harris. Jungle out here in my manners. 
subtropical else me You can smell foul stains from the rainforest floor Droppings from the beast that won't tear before Cause you drop big grizzly seats your P.E. Just love sim music taking it easy Two old elephants fighting to be the bus show Still having clock though, who's the head poncho? So baby it's me, I could be the sleeping lion Wake up as the king, rule over you like a giant But now I'm just a cop in this jungle book And I need all of my friends in this jungle look King it's a fool, if we at the pool And they see us in the playground They be laughing like hyenas Dog eat dog, real friends and no fake So shh, watch out for those snakes It's a jungle Sounded like that when we lived in the scouts. You gotta admit, cuz I knocked it out of the park. Yeah, that's only because you were performing my songs, bro. All right, the flow was good for year seven. What on earth do you call that? I was expecting finely honed close harmonies, not that abomination. It shows we can move with the times, encourage difficult kids. Really? Because I call it a complete embarrassment. Mr. Harris. I can explain. You see, some of the kids dropped out and... That was great! So refreshing! I can see the Falmere teachers have got a lot to live up to. <laughs> Under the circumstances, I suppose you did your best. Well done. You did so well, I'm so proud! There she is. You just headlined assembly. This is your big chance to make a move. Yeah, but I also grew on choir for her, bro, so I doubt she's really going to be that into it. Hey, Josh. Hey, Rach. What's up? I'm just standing outside the assembly hall feeling like a bit of a dingbat, to be honest. Well, I really like what you did up there. Really? I mean, <clears throat> of course you did. I mean, what I did up there was pretty special, you know. Do you think I'll be able to join the choir again? Yes, um, Mr. Harris, how would you feel about Rachel joining choir again? I'm really sorry, guys, but I think that was a one-off. Bit too much work for me, unless Miss Parkwood wants to take over. Maybe. Oh. Wait, I just remembered I have a life. Oh, wow. Um, maybe we can, uh, catch up and talk music over a burger or something? Sure, when's good? Uh, I've got a gap in my schedule right now. And could you bring one of your friends? Preferably a sparkly one, because I do like them feisty. They're all busy tonight. Maybe another time. Ash! Well done, mate. Thanks for blowing it. Don't know why I bother. Can't live with them and you can't kick them out. When they're up, they rub it in your face, kick you when you're down. But when no one understands them, you know what they're on about. Who's gonna be around? Gotta find a common ground.